Ramping up pressure on the new Biden administration and fueling tensions ahead of the Tokyo Olympics, North Korea has fired two projectiles into the Sea of Japan, known as the East Sea in Korea. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov held a meeting with his South Korean counterpart Chang Wei Young in Seoul amid renewed tensions in the region. Lavrov called for peace, stability in Northeast Asia. Подчеркнули важность усилий по поддержанию в Северо-Восточной Азии, включая, конечно же, Корейский полуостров, мирной, стабильной обстановки, что подразумевает отказ сторон от продолжения гонки вооружений и наращивания военной активности в любых формах. South Korea's foreign minister has expressed deep concerns about North Korea's latest ballistic missile test. Chang Wei Young made the remarks during a joint news conference in Seoul with his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov following a bilateral meeting. Chang urged the North to uphold its commitments towards peace. <laughs> Japan has lodged a formal protest through its embassy in China. The Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga has denounced the launches and labelled them a violation of the UN Security Council. Suga also vowed to closely coordinate with Washington and Seoul on the North's testing activities. Listen in to what he said. これまで以上に警戒監視を強める必要があり、先ほど国家安全保障会議を緊急に開催をし、情報の集約が対応について協議いたしました。米国や韓国をはじめ関係諸国と緊密連携をし、国民の命と平和な暮らしを断固して。UN Security Council ago, resolutions ban North Korea from testing ballistic missiles. If the launch is confirmed, it could represent a new challenge to President Joe Biden's efforts to engage with Pyongyang. Pyongyang had been biding, had been bidding its time since the Biden administration took office, not even officially acknowledging its existence until last week. The U.S. Pacific Command has said the missile launches show threat that North Korea's weapons program poses to its neighbors. The command said it was monitoring the situation and consulting with allies. Enough vaccine to cover adults in America. We rectified that. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.